Hello team, here's Alex again in Ridiculix, just with a couple of new upgrades that I'm doing to the Jeep as part of the midlife crisis. Today I'm doing three things, uh, well one of them I already did, uh, which is put these awesome little red inserts on the Jeep, uh, not too chavy, not practical at all, they don't do absolutely anything, but I kind of wanted that little redness in it, and it was very inexpensive to do, it was about less than $20 to do. Uh, the other thing that I'm doing today, uh, that it's also kind of cosmetic and that absolutely has no rationale or does absolutely anything for performance at all, is putting these little inserts in the grill for the Jeep. Also another kind of really inexpensive upgrade. We just want to see how it looks. I'm not quite convinced I'm going to kind of like it, um, but I'll give it a go and see. Now the real practical thing that I'm going to do is that I am going to add this back tray to the Jeep at the, uh, on the gate. And that's because when I went camping, there were a couple of really important things that I couldn't do because I didn't have things, uh, a place to set up uh, anything. Uh, so I thought I'd try this out and see how it goes. So I'll show you how the table looks and how easy it is to install. So follow me while I'll do these installations today. About these inserts, they came from Amazon.com. In reality, they serve absolutely no purpose but to make the Jeep look better, I guess. But the problem is, as soon as I put them on, I started to notice that the temperature on the engine was creeping up. Creeping up to a 10 to 20 degree difference, and that is no bueno. So I had to let the vanity go, and I pulled these out and threw them away. Nothing wrong with the product, it's just it holds the heat to the radiator and that is no good. That's just another problem that I don't need. Now it's time to install the tray table on the back gate. I have no idea why I'm walking around with a level. The Jeep's not level. Nothing about this is level. I didn't use the thing at all, but okay. Um, the tray itself is not too bad, and now that I've had it for over a month, I can actually attest that it's actually not bad quality at all. It's serving its purpose very, very well. The issue that I had was that I bought a really nice rivet tool, but I didn't quite take the time to understand how it worked beforehand, and I made a mistake that took me a long time to fix. Mind you, I did go into the YouTubes and try to find out how to use the tool. I just did not finish looking at the video and that cost me about an hour and a half. Well, we finished installing it. The <laughs> um, yeah, the rivet gun was probably easy to use once I found out how to use it. Unfortunately, um, I kind of screwed one of the rivets and uh, one of the bolts is a little bit loose. Just typical crap that happens to me. Um, I don't know about the table, you know. I, I chose that table because it was inexpensive and now I'm trying to set, now I'm starting to see why it was inexpensive. Oh. Um, it's a little flimsy. Um, it will do, it will do it will, for what I needed to do. Um, but it's not as sturdy as I thought it was going to be and I was planning to put I might do some things to make it rattle less um, But I was planning to put my uh, First aid kit back there and now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that or not <clears throat> um, But we'll we'll see give me a couple of more minutes and see if I can adjust some things and make it work I was totally able to put the first aid kit, actually I bought a new one that was actually thicker than the one that I'm showing on this video and other things up there. The table is actually working great. It's a great table. I take it back. I'm an idiot. I got mad because I didn't follow instructions and I just jump into installing it and then I made some comments that I should have taken back. It's a great table. It worked out great. That's all I have to say about that. Well, I finished it. It's installed. It's working. I put the pouches that I wanted to back here. As you can see, I'm going to put my first aid kit in another pouch with uh, emergency stuff in there. But, you know, the real reason this deal that we wanted is to have this 
table feature in here so that we can have things like go zero run cup and ice when we're doing all the things that's the important things of why we have to add this table uh, here uh, I'm sure you guys can all appreciate that anyway Whoa, that's all we have for this episode of Ridiculous. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.